For inventors, inspiration is the name of the game. There's that moment where they come up with this fantastic idea. But where do these ideas come from? Well, for me, I like to um, get out there and talk to people and, uh, and ask questions. I sometimes carry a little notebook around with me and it's brilliant now with digital technology. I can use my telephone and photograph something that I'll see. The good thing is to set yourself uh, a problem and solve it. Problems are a really good place to start when you're coming up with inventions. Inspiration for an idea can come from being annoyed about something. Well, this is a good example. Um, sitting having a cup of tea and you get crumbs on your table. So why not have a coaster that has space for a brew and a biscuit? If there's a need there and you can solve that, then, you know, that's your job done as an inventor. Mark Weems Holden teaches design and technology. He's invented something designed to solve a very particular kind of problem. This is, for me, this is an answer to a classroom question or a classroom um, frustration that I think technology teachers in general um, suffer from on a daily basis, which is people that think they can't draw. And it's the most frustrating feeling because you think, well, you can draw, you just need a bit of time, a bit of practice, a bit of something to help to guide you. Isosketch is a tool for drawing three-dimensional shapes. Mark's ingenious invention could soon be a standard piece of equipment in school pencil cases. Mark makes them himself on this laser cutting machine at Aquinas Sixth Form College in Stockport, where he works as a teacher. He's liked making and inventing things from a very young age. Back as a young kid, uh, probably about five or six, I started going. Um, at the weekends, I started going to my granddad's garage with me, my good old granddad. Uh, and we used to make things. We used to make things out of wood. We used to make things like this. This was one of the early ones, um, little wooden fish. Uh, and we developed into making sort of little games, made a sort of tabletop cricket set, which was this little thing here. Mark's inspiration for his invention has come from a problem he came up against at work. Other inventors find problems to tackle at home. <laughs> the thing that I find really difficult about painting my nails is making sure the varnish doesn't go on, you know, carpets or tablecloths. And then there's that whole thing of drying your nails, not touching your hair, not touching the furniture. If only there was a better way to do this. Meet student inventors Jyoti Chadder and Monique Anderson. Their invention is just what all messy nail painters need. The handy mat is basically a nail paint and hand aid, which allows you to paint your nails anywhere at any time without damaging the surfaces you're leaning on. I think I know how it works, but can you just show me? A yeah, bit? sure. So you just place your fingers in here, three fingers in the strap, and then this is what you use to close it. Just pull it that way. Oh, yeah. Then you can just paint your nails. Then to open it, you simply just pull it here. And then the reason it's got seven fingers is so you can use it for both hands. What made you come up with the idea for this? Well, at home, I was constantly getting shouted at by my mum for getting nail varnish on the sofas, our cream carpets, um, bed linen. And then I realised it wasn't just me um, who was getting nail varnish everywhere. It was a lot of people. Yeah, everyone does yeah, it. Yeah, everyone does it. There we have it. Two simple but really clever inventions. Proof that a great way to get inspiration for an invention is to look for problems to solve in your everyday life.